Hi guys, welcome to day 14. I'm late again, it's 20 to 10. Oh, oh, I haven't put my lights on. Yay, there we go, now we're Christmassy. We're still not Christmassy here, but while this video is processing and uploading to YouTube, we are going to get decorations down. I've got Robin, there'll be noise downstairs as I record. Robin is moving his tools, which have crept into the living room. We're talking power tools, we're talking bits of just plain bits of chisels things he got from last week's auction still in the living room so I've tasked him with moving all of that so it might be a bit clanky and a bit loud because he knows I'm recording and he's going to be loud he's not he's not ready to pop in but yeah oh, so today ugh, I got to just before 12 o'clock and my manager came in and she's, she'd been in a filthy mood all day and she went, we're all in all day. And I was like, uh, you what? Because we've been nine to one for, oh, months. She went, yeah, we're in all day. And she, uh, and she saw my face and she went, yeah, I know how that feels. <laughs> and I was like, you could have given me a heads up. So I had to get on my phone. I had to ask permission to use my phone because we're not because we're not grown ups. I'm not supposed to use my phone. I had to message Robin because I'd got the bigger car with the five seats. He needed he'd got my car with the four seats. We had to swap cars. We were going to meet up in the auction and walk around the auction. Long story short, I was in all day. Absolutely fine. Don't mind it at all. That's what I'm meant to do. When you're on furlough, you've got to be available to work. I was available to work. I was there could have done with a heads up that I was in all day you know sort of before I left the house so I could have put a couple of extra snacks in taken an extra bit of milk for another cup of coffee you know something something maybe maybe not hmm I was a bit cross <laughs> but basically I've just done lots of other things I spent the whole afternoon cutting cutting six inch circles of glass out of plate glass which is actually quite methodical and quite fun and I've got lots of little, lots of little stabby bits in my fingers, which what happens when you're cutting glass. But anyway, long story short, Robin went to the auction house himself and looked around and he took a video. If I win the box, because I've put quite a low, low bid on it, I will, with a warning, put up the video he sent me. Honestly, it made me seasick. <laughs> Because he is not a videographer by any stretch. I asked him to take stills next time. Still pictures. Honestly, I will put it up, but I will warn you in advance that it is grim. It's just like seasick. Anyway, so there's two boxes that I'm uh, interested in enough to bid on. Um, I'm not going to go high because obviously I haven't had a rummage myself. It, I think it's more... Um, dressmaking sewing than hobby embroidery type sewing um, so I'm not going to bid high and Robin's bidding on a load of tools and we're putting a punt in on a, a huge bolt of I, I assume it's curtain or upholstery fabric that he's seen that I can just use for his chairs gruesome it's only an Ikea armchair but it's gruesome and needs a recover so I'm going to have three weeks oh I've got I'm not just rumbling around here there's my little man is having a little bit of respite in with me. Oh, my little cat. He is my little cat. And he's wriggling. He wants to go back to his sleeps. Hey, my little Eric. He's been really timid the last few days. I mean, he's had a run-in with something. And we don't know what. And he's got a scuff on his nose. And we don't know where that came from. But he's very busy at night. And he can't be in with me at night. Because if he gets into our room, he goes and rummages on my stuff to wake us up. Or he licks the boy's head. Yes, my eight-year-old sleeps in with us a lot of the time. He'll lick his hair a lot and it's yuck. <laughs> anyway, so consequently, this might be short. I hope this is going to be short. One, because I'm knackered. I got home. Finally, I was going to go and do the food shop and do all my extra shopping and everything. I didn't. I finished work at five. I got in my car. I went to the post office. Two little boxes on the way. And I then drove home because I was jiggered absolutely burst got in my tea was ready scubbed down my tea came upstairs 
put, a, put an episode of Time Team on and I was asleep within about two minutes. So I had about an hour. I was on another episode when I woke up and then I was all shaky, disorientated. You know, when you have like a random nap and it's not, you're not quite right afterwards. It's taken me ages to not feel a bit. Ugh. So what I've done since then is ditch the 14 and I've really filled up 14. 14 is big. I think 15 is going to have something very small in it. Here is 14. I had to do the inside border. I did the 14. And then look look how beautiful and plain eight is next to fourteen. I've done two owls with a little heart in the middle, and they're a bit fudged. They are the full owl pattern. You can see it's the same pattern as this owl. Two of those, but they're actually resting on the bottom, and his ear has like a half height stitch just to give a bit of clearance between the bottom of the four. But there is fourteen all done. So. 15 might be going might be going in this one because it's already got the border done so other than that the only other stitching I've done today is most of a Christmas tree most of a Christmas tree because I only had a couple of I had about 15 minutes this morning waiting between dropping my girls at high school and my little boy at primary school he naps in the back Apparently he's resting his eyes, but, you know, the snores coming from the back means he's grabbing an extra half an hour's kip because between us leaving the house and me take, me dropping him at school's half an hour. So if he, he just nicks a half hour's kip there, he's bad. He's never slept. You know, he's been, he was one of those babies that could manage on five hours sleep. So he wouldn't, we, we didn't put him to bed at bedtime because if we put him to bed at bedtime, like I put my girls to bed at bedtime, if I put him to bed at bedtime, He'd get up at two in the morning, ready for the day. And you know, at two in the morning, I am not ready for the day. So that, yeah, we used to leave him until 10, 11, sometimes midnight before we put him down. So that by the time he woke up at seven, <laughs> we'd, you know, six or seven in the morning, we'd actually... You know, he'd, he'd wake up five, have a little feed and then go back down for a little while. But never, he was never a long sleep. He's never, I don't think he's ever slept more than 10 hours a night in his life. So he goes to bed really late, but then he's sluggish to get going in the morning. And we've tried to adjust it, but it just, it doesn't work. He just, he is not ready to switch off early in the evening. So... He's a monkey, so I get that bit of time. I park in the park in like a public car park, and then we walk. It takes two minutes to walk from there up to the school. When when we're not meant to go and park up by school, so uh, I sit and I I sometimes get fifteen minutes stitching. It depends how early we've got to drop the girls off at big school. So um, yeah, so I got that's that's basically all the stitching I had until I woke back up after my nap. And when I woke back up, I've done I've done the fourteen. And already it's 10 to 10 at night, so that's my day gone. Um, Tuesday and Wednesday, I only work 9 till 1. I don't work the afternoons anymore. Those are my two half days off that I get now. So even though everybody will be in all week, they've suddenly decided that any orders we've got open, she wants out before Christmas. And we shut on Friday. So it's like all hands to the pump, get these orders out. <sighs> Which has been a little bit a little, little bit stressful today not stress for me I just caught I just caught the backlash of the stressy bit which you know I was cross for about five minutes and then I was like take a big deep breath it doesn't matter let's just get on with my day and it was fine absolutely fine I did stitch for about actually I did stitch at my lunch time where well, I actually because I didn't have any lunch with me I found a I found a chocolate bar in the car when Robin brought my car and we swapped cars, I actually had, I've always got something stashed because I've always got a hungry child. So if you actually emptied my car, you'd probably have like a bag of food and a bag of spare clothes. And there's actually three pairs of rollerblades in the back of my car. My car, you've seen my car, it's like tiny. It only has four seat belts. It hasn't even got a middle seat in the back. So there's just so much stuff stuff crammed in it I must I must sort it out now here's where I say I've got three weeks off from my original job over Christmas I'll get to 
talking to you as I'm going back and I'll be like, I haven't done any of the jobs. All I've done is this big piece of stitching. And that's what I'll do. I know myself well enough to know that I'm not going to skip out my car. I am not going to tidy up everything in the house. I am going to sit right here and I am going to stitch any time I'm not required to be on family duty or at work at my second job, which I will be working through, which is grand. Um, yeah. So that, that's that's about it. I've got nothing to show you. I've got no stitching, honestly. Just just the, just today's thing, and and <laughs> and for Christmas tree, it's been a bit of a thin day for stitching. And now I'm going to go and get on, get the stuff down from the loft to help clear out a bit more of the, the stuff in the living room that was all over the living room is now like collected in one place nearer nearer like what used to be the door we took. To, we don't. We only have three four doors in the house we've got a bathroom door we've got my, my eldest daughter has a bedroom door my son has a door on his room but only because it was my craft room and we've put a door on it and our bedroom door has got a pocket door so it slides into the wall which is a job we actually did and finished and plastered and I painted the wall um, our room and my boys room used to be a big room that went had a window in the front of the house and a window in the back of the house so it was like a really long full length room and um about nine years ago we 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 changed it round so that the bedroom was smaller and there was a the room it's hilarious it is six foot by five foot nine and it was my craft room and then i had and then i had a baby so it's his room but it, you can't fit a full length bed in it it's what's called a shorty which is a five foot nine mattress and that's how I know it's five foot nine because it fits wall to wall but he loves it and it's private you know he's got a little bit of privacy so we'll do a bedroom churn when Maddie goes to university because we will then have three children at home and three bedrooms available Two of them are very small and one of them is very large. Nothing we can do about moving the rooms around, the room sizes, but we will we'll redistribute the children. Flora and Lizzie have shared all their lives. They've had to share room. Basically, Flora slept in with me until she was about eight months old and then she went into a bed with Lizzie in, in Lizzie's room, which so Lizzie only had her own room for just under three years. So, uh, yeah, poor Lizzie. <laughs> I think she's looking forward there. She's 14 now. I think she's looking forward to having a bit of space of her own. Flora won't like it. She's she she needs people. She needs people. So she won't really. I don't think she's going to enjoy having her own space that much. But we'll see. So I've been rambling. I'm going to pick up my tablet. That again has not been switched on for two days. Let's see if it's still got some charge. Oh, it has. Okay, page that already opens is the is the random number generator. Oh, I've got more to generate this time. So I picked out. So yesterday's was video thirteen. So I picked up a few from video eleven, all of twelve, and all of thirteen. So this is everybody except people who've already won a box, because I want to give them out to as many as I can to twelve different people sure you understand so I'm between 1 and 65 let's go is it going to be a difficult name to pronounce today every time I write down your names I'm thinking how am I going to say that name if it comes up and I'm like okay I know that I know that oh, how am I going to say that one there's three or four names here that if they come up I'm going to butcher your names but we'll see I'm going to press the press the button and it has picked 39 today and Brianna Brianna Fix, it's yours. And I think, send me an email anyway, but I think I've already got your address. I think you want to give away way back beginning of my floss tubes. So I know you've been with me since the beginning. So fantastic. Box, box is yours. And send me an email anyway, just in case, because it's probably going to be quicker for you to email me than for me to dredge through. 11 billion emails mostly just from YouTube and Google and more YouTube and 
yeah there's just so many so much rubbish comes in that the little gems of actual emails from people that I want to read are really hard to find anyway so Brianna I'll put your name here it's yours if you're sewing look up you've won and uh I'll pop the box in. I think we're getting a bit tight with getting to the USA for Christmas, but it will be in the post and in the system and it'll pitch up when it pitches up. And we've still got, um, this is box seven. So we've still got five boxes to go. So there's still five goes and then grand prize. And then I keep looking at things and thinking, oh, I can give that away and oh, I can give that away. Oh my dear, did I do any of, I did, hang on. I did a little bit, of, I did something last night. Yes, look, <laughs> this isn't astounding and you'll not be surprised when I tell you next. Okay, so I've done, this is all finished, my Christmas deer, my patchwork deer. It's all done round here. This is all done. I've just got the white to fill in and I've lost my chalk. Either Matey Moo has pinched it or it's fallen into the pit that is down the side of my bed. It's about four foot between the edge of the bed and the wall. And um, yeah, I can't actually put my feet down on it. <laughs> it's full of plastic boxes and stuff and things fall, slide off and what have you. So I've lost my skein of chalk. I have another skein of chalk, which I believe might be in night walk down oh night walk down sorry I went really gloomy then I moved too far away from the camera now I'm rummaging packing the biscuits is it stitching or is it biscuits here um oh have I not got the pack of spoof So my night walk down, which is blue flower, and this was, I had to order this from 123 Stitch because when I bought it, which was just after it was released, um, I saw it on Pinterest and thought, I love it, I want it, and I couldn't find it anywhere. I didn't know it had only just been released, and then I watched Michelle Bendy's floss tube and she showed it so I can really couldn't get hold of it then so the first place it came back into stock was one two three stitch so I got it from there and waited while it arrived and that's where I've got to and this is using those beautiful silks from my grandma that's in the really really the really crinkly packet of silk they are equivalent about there's one of them you can see that's that's that flower and they're equivalent to about two strands this is 28 count this is picture this plus and I think it was called stormy or something like that and in the picture on my phone and I checked on the laptop too it is purple and you can only imagine how disappointed I was when it arrived and it was a grey, really grey. So when I dyed the fabric for my Pilgrim, I dunked this. So it's actually showing really well on the camera. You can see I've over dyed it with a little splodgy bit. What I got was I got the piece of fabric and uh, like a pie tin and I scrunched it. I got it wet and I scrunched it up to within an inch of its life and then just poured over the top with quite watered down because I didn't want to overdo it. So, and because it's Laguna, it didn't take, it doesn't take dye terribly well. So didn't do too badly. So I know I have a skein of chalk in there, but I bought myself, so I bought the pattern and I bought the couple of bits of fabric, those little pieces, this, this piece here, my Barbarana, which again, I still haven't worked on, but I'm going to get this done. This is, this finished, and then I'm going to move on to this. And this little guy is just, that little guy is just the extra in the middle. 
so I'm going to get back to this next year I have just started that that oh look how I'm holding this look the scrumple there can you not see it honestly I'm so unprofessional <laughs> I'm so unprofessional um I've just started there that's the start of her dress and the, I'm not doing I think I am doing absolutely none of the charted colours. The owl is in Etoile, in the Blanc Etoile. And these look like bluebells, so I did them in that gorgeous bluey mauve variegated silk. And yeah, I have a pack full of threads, which I need to find because I believe my chalk is in there. Because I've got two skeins of chalk, one for something specific, and I'm sure it must have been that because I think that's the only thing I've actively bought over dyes for i think that was the first thing i bought over dyes for um and the other one my house will spit out at some point i mean it always spits everything back out it just chews it up and then spits it back out and i think it was you eric was it you was it you oh he's such a sweetie it's been so skittery so skittery anyway i have literally rambled for 21 minutes um Thank you for watching. I'm sorry this is a really chatty short one rather than a lots and lots of progress one. I don't, I do, when I do sit down to stitch, I do a lot of stitches and some days I just don't. You know, it's not every day I do a ton of stitching. I still feel like I was a bit fraudulent when I said, oh, I do 2,000 stitches a day. I can. Very carefully chosen on very specific pieces, but it's totally doable. But you know it's not every day by any stretch of the imagination i've done about 500 stitches today so far and i probably won't put a great deal more in because i'm going to force myself to go downstairs and tidy up some crap okay thank you for watching guys i will see you tomorrow most definitely and brianna little box of christmas goodies be on their way to you i'll see you tomorrow guys thank you Bye-bye. Oh, cat teeth. There are anything so cute as baby cat teeth. A little bit of my Eric. There he is. Just where he sits. And I need to get on. Get those decorations down. I'll catch you tomorrow guys. Bye.